you know, Louis Vuitton coming out with they did the collab with Supreme not too long yeah, ago. Yeah. And you know, a lot a lot of these high fashion brands are realizing like you know, ready to wear is cool, but people want like shit that they can, you know, wear to the store and shit like that, which is like a t shirt or right, see, see, I don't know what does that mean, ready to wear. So so ready to wear is like it it's speaks for itself, tea. ready to wear. So so usually like high fashion brands like that, they have like runway shit and then ready to wear ah, shit. Okay. So runway shit is the shit that they be showing at like fashion week and shit like that. They might have some uh ready to wear shit on the runway too, but a lot of that shit be like those the gowns and all that crazy shit that you see and you think People be thinking like you're supposed to wear this shit like out on the street, but nah, it's you know, like it's for the fashion show. Got you, got you. And then they have like the ready to wear shit, like the, the, the sneakers or the, the shirts, sweats, the hoodies, sweats, the sweatsuits and got shit you. like that. Like so that's what the ready to wear stuff is. So um I think um street streetwear brought the um the t shirt thing back. Streetwear and by streetwear I mean bathing eight, uh ice cream, billionaire boys club, supreme. Um, got you, got you. All of those brands, they because they make streetwear, they make T-shirts and shit like that. So I think they they kind of bought that back because people always, you know, like I said, if you've been a fashion head, then you've been into stuff like that. But now, like everybody is into it. It's people who don't even know about these brands that's copping this shit. It's people that don't know about Supreme, don't know about Bape, don't know about none of that shit, but they copping that shit. You know what I'm saying? They going to these trade shows and they, you know what I'm saying? They they now they heavily invested into this shit because that that's you know what I'm saying. I know earlier you said that uh, uh, you said you you charge twenty five for the shirt just because it was a good number. So like, like what, what do you like? What do you calculate now when you're going to say okay, this is gonna be this price and, and like why? Like what what? So I calculate um, what it costs me to make the shirt if I have to make the shirt because um I've done like somewhere I had to make the t shirt from scratch, or uh, how much it costs me to purchase the shirt that I'm printing on if I'm purchasing a shirt, how much um. The ink cost that I'm printing with, how much does it cost me to uh, to bag and tag it? How much do the neck tags cost? Because I have a f- I have like real neck tags and shit like that, like no iron on or yeah. like pressed on shit. Excuse me. So all after I figure out all of that and I get you know a, a ballpark number and then I decide like hey this is how much I need to charge to make a certain percentage on my return and uh, put it back into the brand or you know. Like but a, it sounds like they're not twenty five dollars though. No more. Nah, nah my um. <laughs> it just sounds like that. I don't know. Like you said, it, it, a lot. like I said, it, it depends on the design. Like right okay. now, I got some online right now for like thirty three dollars, but the 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 vintage t shirts I just had was forty five dollars. Okay. So it's it's different prices, and it, uh, as I progress more, this stuff will be different. Like, and what's the website? Uh, www.recklessrebelco.com. Co. Yeah. Okay. Co. Like okay. Reckless Rebel Company. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. That came with the with the. So I had to re. So I'm glad that you asked that. I had to like restructure the the, the brand. Um, like I said, it was Reckless Rebels, and um, I decided to drop the the uh, the S because I was watching the Social Network, uh, the little Facebook movie. Yeah. And you know when they first came out, it was the Facebook dot com, and uh, I was watching that scene and they was like drop the the and just call it Facebook, and I had I don't know something popped in my head like while I was watching that shit like I. I'd be in my own world, man. And that shit popped in my head. And I was like, yo, I need to drop this S. Like, I need to make it, like, Reckless Rebel. So that person can feel like, hey, I'm a Reckless Rebel. You know what I'm saying? Like, not a gang type shit. It's like, yo, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? So, because I'm a Reckless Rebel. I feel like that. I'm a Reckless Rebel. My brand represents, like, being a Reckless Rebel. Doing things, you know, the way you want it. That's why I don't have a spring, summer collection. I just make clothes whenever I want to and sell them. Yeah. Um, other brands they have like fall, summer, spring, and a lot of brands are doing that too. I, I, I'm not gonna say I came up with that because I didn't. I've seen other brands do it, um, and I think it works well because I'm not a luxury brand, so I don't want to come off as a luxury brand, and I don't want to have uh, I don't want to have uh, shows in Paris. That's not what my brand is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to be somewhere that I'm not trying to be. You feel me? Like I'm trying to tap into people like me. You know what I'm saying? But what, what about like Japan? They, 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 yeah, they I mean, yeah, like, they they still fucking with it. So, um, but um, I just don't, I just didn't want it to be like a traditional brand. So with the whole restructure, I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna make clothes when I want to, because it's no set rules to this shit. Like, it's no rule that says, hey, you have to drop clothes fall, summer, spring. You know what I'm saying? You can yeah. drop clothes whenever you want to. You know what I'm saying? So, in my in my head, I'm like, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm a, I'm a, whatever I make, I'm gonna get that shit made and I'm gonna get it out to the people as soon as I can because. If I don't, somebody else will. 
Like what, what? 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 And what's it called? Like I'm not gonna ensure now. Like what, what is that called? Like this I know, like, this but is, it's certain kind of print because like like my oh th- this is so this is a screen print. But now like they have DTG printing, they have the heat transfer printing. So what's it called? And, like that's it? heat transfer. I could tell by looking well, at well, it. I got a sw- well, I changed my sweater. This, I bought. I got, I got this as a gift. But I got a sweater where it's like it's the pictures of my my kids, or whatever, on a sweater. But you can't. It's like it's in the sweater. Like you can't take. Like it's not like it's pressed on. What's that oh, called? so it's probably uh direct to garment. So they got these printers now where it's literally like printing on a piece of paper. So you put the garment in it, and they'll print the ink directly onto the clothes. This brand's doing that. You a lot of people won't be able to tell because it's so. But I heard you're gonna do it. Like certain, like it's so much stuff. That yeah, you can only do it on certain, certain colors. colors. Yeah, you, um, like you get gray or red. That's yeah. it. Nah, it, it ain't. So they they it's better now. They got better machines. Those machines are expensive too. But mm-hmm. like I said, if you have a brand, it's worth it if you do that. Um, but um, back when they first came out, I believe you can only do it on like white. I think you could only do it on white and okay. things like that. But now you can do it on darker colors. It just don't show. You have to be careful when you design it on the computer that the colors uh, match up and they'll show that the, the same way on the garment. Because once you print on a garment, the colors are naturally gonna look different. So that's all into design. I this never shit. knew somebody wore me a sweater one time and it was like that. I never had a, I never had nothing where like somebody made it mm-hmm. and it was in the shirt. I was like, I thought I only did that with real companies. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, people were doing that. It's so many different methods now, man. It's, a, it's just like I said, I, I, I've been learning so much since like my sorry since good, my good. first brand. It's so crazy, like the way technology has moved and advanced with this fashion shit. So like I know you, they say you like make shirts and stuff like that. Like, do you ever like? Just like think about just making, making, especially in here around in this area, you could probably make a lot of money just making people shirts too. Like, yeah, I th- so I thought about that, and um, like I, that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, but you got, but you got the material, you got the, you got the equipment to do so. If you, yeah, if you like I, I know how to sew, I know how to make patterns, I can do things like that. Um, we know how to sew, at? you learn your own. Or? I just, I had, I had a sewing machine. Um, I think my grandmother had one actually. I had one and I just started like playing with it, poking myself in the finger, and um, I just learned how to use it, man. Oh, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say like I can make anything, but no, no, but you know, I can, I can, I can make some patterns and I can piece some stuff together. Um, that's dope. But um, and and. That's why I call myself a designer because I can do that too. A lot of people don't know that I can do that. They just think like, oh, he designed some shit and get it made. But I can, I can make some things. But see, that's why we like even when doing a podcast, like you know, what I'm saying, let me tell you the same thing. Like a lot of time when you do podcasts, you think you know. Even if I like, I know you. I think I know the person, but I learned a lot from you already. Just talking with you this time because I didn't know you could make that stuff. I mm-hmm. didn't know um, a lot of the background and stuff you was telling me about. Even thinking about the trends that thing, I remember it. Didn't know it was you. I, I only knew Preppy Boy Club. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about the fact that you went through all those brands and that's all you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, so, it's, like I said, it's, it's a lot that you don't be knowing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that, and that instance. And I didn't think about the fact that how much you actually did trend set. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From the, from the time I've known you. Sure, it's been a long journey, bro. I'm telling you. And, I, and it's still, I'm still on that journey. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, like, I'm still, you know, dealing, you know, still learning. I'm still. It's still trial and error. It's just, it's just uh, a little bit better because I know more now, and I'm still gonna, I'm gonna learn more, and it's gonna be another stage, and keep going and keep going until you know until I get, you know where I need to get or where God wants me to be at with this. You know what I'm saying? That's so, that kind of you're talking right now. And <laughs> and I've been patient with it though. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Like a lot of people, they have these these aspirations and these dreams, and they. It don't, it don't pop as quick as they want it to. And, I, you know, I got to talk to myself about this a lot, too. Like, well, why ain't, you know, why I'm not, you know, this, that, and the third. It's just, like, you, you really have to be patient. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You got to be patient. Like, whether I sell 10 shirts or whether I sell 100 shirts, 10 shirts is, I got to realize that 10 shirts is still a blessing. So, I, I, I think one of the things that really made me gain a lot of respect for fashion, I think just you, I'm going to just say you in general, it was years ago before I, before I had kids. Um, me and my girl at the time, we were sitting watching this show I seen. I, I, I seen the first episode. I just want to watch all of it. It's called uh, Made in America. Remember that? I don't know if you watched that show on HBO. It's about these two Oh, dudes. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. That's my shit, yeah. Kid Cudi was in that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He and, was selling um, weed and shit. Yeah. <laughs> he was a dog walker that sold weed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> From Soho. But, um, yeah, I, I, I like... I like I like that show, you know what I'm saying? I thought that that show should have probably lived on more, but... It was supposed to make more seasons. I'm yeah, mad I don't it. know why HBO dropped the ball on that one, but like I said, that's oh one of my gosh. favorite shows from HBO that's not, like, 
a, a gangster show the other mm-hmm. day, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I always thought about you guys, I just felt like they did so much to everything you talking about, they was doing like trying to go buy this and buy stuff mm-hmm. in bulk and going to that fashion show, yeah. trying to get the, that, that shirt on this artist or they trying was hustling, to do that yo. all day. Like, but it's and that's just, how it is, bro. Like so that's real shit. Competition. And we never got to see the show finish out. I wish yeah. I would have seen it, but I think that that I always hear anybody do a design talk about that show. Like everybody talk about that show because because it's real. Like I said, like they was out there. Like, I think the coolest they show was showing a hungry designer you gonna find. They were showing what what it's like to try to start a street like a streetwear brand because I yeah. said they was doing streetwear, not a high fashion brand. They wasn't trying to make the next Louis Vuitton. They wasn't trying to make the next Gucci. They was trying to make. I, I think their brand was crisp. And they was trying to do, it was like yeah. a denim streetwear type thing. And that's the first time, like, a show been like that. Because you see, like, Project Runway, which is couture shit and, you know what I'm saying, like like high fashion yeah. brands. You know what I'm saying? You don't see shit where it's like, yo, I want to, you know, make a streetwear brand. So that, that show came out and it just, like, made me, me and I'm pretty sure other people, like, yo, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just showed you, like, yo, like. You ain't the only one like struggling trying to yeah, do this, yeah, and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I throw that because you mentioned like thinking like, well, why I'm not pop? Why mm-hmm. I'm not doing this? Why I'm not doing that? And I looked at that show the same way. Like every time they almost got it close, like it's like a setback. Yeah, another setback. And that's how it is, bro. I had so many setbacks, bro. Like so many. Like even to this day, like I still have, you know, issues with certain like with production and uh, with um, getting everything right the way I want it because I don't want to just. Back then, I made I would have you know sold a shirt with you know little faults on it, but now I'm going through quality control and I'm like, yo, if I'm gonna send this shirt to someone under my brand name, then I need to make sure that they have nothing but good things to say about it. Right. And if they have something bad to say, I want to know what they're saying. But like, so what? Like, what all you sell? Like, is it is the shirt? Like, what, uh, what, so what so you... right now I'm just doing um I'm doing shirts right now um I'm dabbling into um you know um other stuff like um sweatsuits and cut and sewn sweatsuits. <laughs> Uh, accessories and things. Uh, accessories is a huge thing right now. Um, yeah, actually, you got beanies. But. Yeah, so accessories is big because um, uh, what I think in my head, I think what made accessories like super big was Supreme because they have fire extinguishers, they have knives, <laughs> they got nunchucks, they got fucking mopeds. I just want a hat. I don't want a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I promise it, you. No, no, but um, nah, that's funny though. I, I didn't know that. But they they make a lot of money off accessories. Like those accessories. So like, it's a clothing brand that just sell fire extinguishers. No, no, no. I'm like, you know what Supreme is, right? Yeah, I know that. I yeah, know that they, they've, they've came out with fire extinguishers, nunchucks. I uh, never do this. They got a, I think the punching bag is going for like a couple thousand. They got a punching bag that's going for a couple thousand. I, I, I buy a punching bag. They got a guitar that's like 40 grand. They sell a lot of skateboards. Skateboard decks. Yeah, so, because Supreme is a skateboard brand. Like, that's their origin, so... They 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 are heavily into the the streetwear and, and skate culture. I first heard him it was a, it was a nigga going around fighting niggas. I, I remember him on Twitter. Oh, you he talking was, about the <laughs> yeah. the YM Bape nigga? I don't know. He was yeah, fighting. he was he was, he was he was running around saying uh, "fuck Supreme" banging yeah. on my chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, that shit was crazy, man. That was damn. That was some years ago, man. Hey, I remember everything. I'm gonna have to look that nigga up on Instagram or something. See, he probably locked up. He was on Rikers for a minute. He was. Hey man, he happens. was on records for a minute. I think he he was rapping, but um, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> now, I just remember that, I, and like I said, you said accessory. I was thinking about you no know, hats and stuff. Yeah. But I also feel like, like you mentioned a good term, like you said, ready to, ready to wear. I think you said, yeah. um, like some like some people, like, I feel like I'm not in the fashion world, so I don't know. I do feel like people just take things and run with it, and I think that almost like podcasting a little bit. It's not maybe not the exact same. Slim, Slim can agree. I feel like the, the clothing business be oversaturated because you yeah. got people that don't have the same passion that you might have mm-hmm. or that y'all might have, and they just you popular, so you know you can sell fifty shirts. Yeah, Gu- Gucci is so good you for just that. Make fifty. Gucci is good for that. Slap something on it. You say yeah. So, so you gotta understand a lot of yeah. brands. A lot of brands have people that have brand loyalty. Um, it's people that that will buy Supreme because it's Supreme. It's people that will buy Gucci because it's Gucci. It's people that will buy Louis Vuitton because it's Louis Vuitton. And it doesn't matter what they come out with. Just because they're loyal to that brand, they're going to purchase it. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people out there like that. Like, Excuse me. I used to be like that with Bathing Ape. I, 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 I was about to ask you that. I'm glad you said it. I used to be like that with Bathing Ape. I'm like, yo, it, this could be... I don't give a fuck what it is. <laughs> it's Bathing Ape. I'm buying it. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of people who... so. If, it's, if you're a bigger brand than me and you could produce this, 
faster than me and better than me, then obviously people are going to purchase it from you because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So let's say I go against Bathing Ape, which is a way bigger brand than me. If they can produce something better than me, they're going to do that. I mean, people take shit all the time, and, you know, people got a lot of lawsuits. You, even if you make something that's that's fire but nobody doing it, they can see it and then make something similar. Those, those big brands, they have, they have uh, a much larger team than I do. Um, they have m- much more resources. And I'm not saying they copying me or anything like that, but social media is heavy, so they can come across my shit on social media exactly. and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying, let's... Let's so put that into then? production. Um, how hard is it to, to like to one like say you say you saying you can make a pattern and do something you know you can yeah I, I could copy some own. shit from Bape and no I'm saying on your own you do it on your own and how like how dear it, how dear is it to you to not put it out because somebody may come across and be like yo look at the design and they get one of them I ain't trying to be racist but Chinese people in the lab real quick yeah that's whip it up now. and now it's, it's it's supreme you can't you can't but so. Technology is so advanced right now that you can't even stop it. Just like with the shoes, like I just was reading this article, they they took four hundred sixteen million dollars worth of fake shoes at the um at the border. Some guys from China. All it takes is one person to have the actual product, and they producing the fake one with the shoes. Um, like these these uh these Jordans I got on, I can take it to a factory, and if they can get a hold of these materials, they can break this shoe apart and make it twenty times over. You know what I'm saying? And sell it for. You can't really do nothing about that. All you can do is, you know, hope and pray that, you know, it doesn't happen. But um, these big brands, that, that's what's happening. Like, it's, you know, it's, and it's, it's huge right now, man. It's huge. Like, it's, it's, um, it's documentaries on that right now. Vice did a documentary about it. Um, um, it's some people who are out here selling shoes to these stores and they're not real. And these people can't even tell that they're not real. So, they, it's getting way like technology is way more advanced, man, and it's just harder to stop the fakes and things like that. So you just have to. Me, I'm just staying true to what I started doing this for. Like I, I know what I want to do. I know what I want my brand to be. So I would never um, settle. Right, right. I would never settle. So, and if if you support me, you'll respect that. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you'll still purchase. You, you'll respect my 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 vision and my craft because I respect the craft of other brands and I still purchase brands even though I can probably get a fake one and it look real but I, that's just not me that's just not something I would yeah, do you yeah. know what I'm saying so so like what like like what's next for you and like what you like what do you foresee like what will make you I guess not I'm happy but like what's next for like Records Rebel Co I'm gonna say Records Rebel I'm used to um, saying that ho- hopefully um just keep on pushing um I wanna make a flagship store soon you didn't bring no shirts but it's all good I t- <laughs> Had to throw it in there real we quick. talked about that, man. I know you gonna bring it up on camp. I'm a, but, I'm, I'm a support. Like, no, no, no. I want to support. The yeah, um, I just want to keep on pushing and and um and. You got coupons? I know you said it's forty five dollars. <laughs> I ain't. I just want to keep on for Slim too. You know what I'm saying? He, not the slimmest cat over there, but you know. I just want to keep on making, making, making good quality shit, and want to, you know, I want to hear people, you know, say good things about because that make me feel good. Like, yo, because there's a lot of long nights. I'm up, you know, designing and. You know, I'm I'm up late night designing and tweaking and going back and forth and coming back and fixing and you know what I'm saying and going back and forth with production and so for somebody to be like yo I really fuck with this or I respect the brand it's just like yo I appreciate that because that's like my baby you know what yeah, I'm saying like I, I just like I, I just like this podcast it's you you know what I'm saying like you you built you built your following and you built you know you built a you use this platform yeah and you built something with it so you know. That's why I can't. That's why I was like, yo, I gotta get on this podcast. Nah, but like I was telling him before, I said, yo, somebody I know for a minute. So like, I don't. Like I said, I don't. Anybody, anybody that tell you, I don't. I don't let everybody come on. I, I just, not just don't respond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With you, cause I'm like, I don't want to say. I thought no. you were ducking me. I was like, yo, this nah, nigga. Nah, nah. <laughs> but at the same time, you gotta say, like, banging it on me, yo. <laughs> nah, you here and there, though. like you be here, then you not be. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't just like this is a business. I can't just be like, oh, well, yeah, wait, yeah. on for two hours. Hey, I mean, nah, making money here. So no, no, no. I feel you. You know, I get it after hours, so I try to you know build around that. But like this year, we doing something different. So it looked like you know what I'm saying if uh, I'm. Work with my man. I probably just gonna do it with my man here because it's probably just easy. Like we just work together well, and it, we can bounce off each other. But um, yeah, like I said, you know, I, I support the brand. If you gotta show us if something you want me to post, let me know. I do it for everybody. I definitely do it for you. And I just want to see. Like, I I want to see everybody eat like you do. I want to see. I'm the same way, win, bro. You know what I'm saying? Same way. I'm just happy that you're still doing 
like the clothing. Cause not I often, you know, how sometimes you just think about somebody. I yeah. just think like, damn, what? Was, we ain't still selling that You know what I'm saying? I could have quit, bro. I could have quit, bro. And it was I thought you times. did, but I never, and I never yeah. went to ask. Like I don't want to be that guy that's like. Like, I don't ask niggas, are you still playing ball? Like, yeah. I mean, they could have went somewhere out. Cause I feel like that's, yeah. that's touchy. Yeah, yeah. So I let, I let them talk Because that it, shit you know is near and dear to me. So, you know, when I took off, you know, and I heard a lot of people saying, like, yo, you still doing it? It just, like, sparked it up in my head. Yeah. Like, I never left it, but I put it down for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. to, you know, grow up and realize, like, what, what I want. You know what I'm saying? And I realized, like, this is what I want. You know what I'm saying? So I had to pick it back up. And I just... Ever since I picked it back up, I just been taking it and running with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I got it. You know, I, I come up with a game. I came up with a game plan, and like, like you said, what's coming for 2020? I got a lot of shit coming. Um, just stay tuned. A lot of shit I can't speak about, but I'm feeling like way better than before about it. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I got a lot of shit cooking up, and a lot of different shit I'm working on. It just make me feel good. Like, damn, I feel good to be... I feel like Mitch when he came home. From, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when he came home, he got the red, the red Beamer with the yeah, gold BBSs. Style, you feel me? my style. <laughs> <laughs> feel me? That's how I feel. I feel like I was in a... You know, I was in a weird space. And now I'm, you know, back to my, myself. You feel me? So, word, word. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you... Uh, Give you your, your socials and stuff, but I got one more question for Nigga you. Nigga say your social, yeah. Social, you know what I'm saying? Social media, you know what I'm saying? Not your social, not social. Uh, yeah, I thought you told myself, I was saying. Nah, I'm gonna do that to you. Bro. From New York for real, huh? Nah, I, I ain't scamming. Yeah, I never got part of that. But the, the, the only question I got for you, and I, I'm pretty sure Slim, he probably wanna know the same thing. Like, you feel like slavery a choice or. I looked at him like, are you dead ass? I'm fucking with you. All the time your kids believe this shit. <laughs> hey, I'm fucking Y'all got you, the bro. wrong one, I'm man. You, man. <laughs> All right, go ahead and get your social out, you know what I'm saying? In your, in your, in your website out. We're going to put it on the bottom. All right, that's and, a bet. You know um, my Instagram and my Twitter is Wayne is Reckless. Um, and then the, the brand is Reckless Rebel Co. on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, the website is www.recklessrebelco.com. Uh, if you want to contact us or anything like that, we have a contact page. You can email us. Um, you can hit us up on any social media. We'll hit. We'll, we got good customer service. I'll hit y'all back personally. Um, if you want to carry the brand or anything like that, we can work something out like that. Um, yeah, that's... That's pretty much it. What's up, man? Yeah, I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, you know I appreciate saying? you for having on me, time, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm good. I'm good for that. I don't like I waiting on people. The, I the first guest that brought expensive drinks. I ain't saying drinks, just say expensive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got Slim over there. When he want, he want another cup. Tell you right now, he wants another one. So I'm, he can get another yeah, cup. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get. get yeah, I, I still my guy. I gotta help him out. You know? What nah, I'm nah, saying? nah. It's cool. I, I you know how he breathing. He wants another. I can hear him breathing right now. I had, so. I had to come. You know, bring, I had to make it so I'm comfortable. You feel me? And this, you know, it's all good, man. I, right, you know, like I said, I appreciate have a good you for having me, bro. Right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, and I, I wish you the best, man. And keep you me too, up there, man. You know what I'm saying? Give me a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Toast to that. Right, hey, let me get it. Let me see. It. Yeah, toast to that. All right, I got soda though. <laughs> yeah, more than that. You could have fronted like that was liquor, but you know. Hey, I, I appreciate the honesty.